And welcome back. This is Frost Gaming 25. And I thought I would do a little bit of a review on the campaign. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. Um, I don't want to do any spoilers on on this video. I'm trying to keep it fairly minimal in terms of spoilers. But what I did want to say was, in my opinion, the campaign was actually pretty good. Like, it, in some ways, it was really good, and in other ways, it was definitely not so good. But, let's get into it. So, the main thing, without giving away any, like, major storyline spoilers, is the campaign ended, in my opinion, let's just say it ended, and the, you know the moment when when it ends as a player. You, you can kind of feel that ending come, and that's all fine. That's perfect. However, what they did in the campaign, and this part I will spoil because there really isn't much to it because it's not... I personally think the campaign already has ended by this point, in my opinion. But what happens is they actually take you into a series of quests. And this quest, the campaign, they, keep in mind, these are campaign quests. Um, but they take you into a series of quests. And these quests are things like doing your, uh, doing a Helltide. Or going into a Nightmare Dungeon. Or, or uh, no, sorry, not a Nightmare Dungeon, but a regular dungeon. And doing a Stronghold. And uh, <laughs> just doing random, random things that have been in the game in the past as normal events. These are just events that they happen, and they're done kind of as a normal routine that you're going to do when you're playing the game. Um, but for some reason, uh, I actually, now the beauty about this is I recorded, uh, exactly how long it took me to actually beat the campaign and recorded how long it took me, and I figured out how long it took me just to do these events that it had me run through. Now these events were very run of the mill, there was nothing special about them. There was no dialogue or lore or anything that was given um, once you had gotten to this point in the campaign. But you effectively spend about two, or I personally, I was playing on hard, I, I spent about two hours quite literally just doing things like the Helltides, like the dungeons, like the strongholds, um, bounties was one of them, um, and doing other random tasks that, you know, if you played any of the other seasons, season one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, um, you, you have done all these things before. So, in my opinion, it really isn't a ad like, it's nothing new. Um, you're not getting any content that is going to be relevant to the story or make a meaningful um, impact to the gameplay. It, it kind of felt like filler content. Like, they, they wanted to add an additional two hours to the campaign, and the only way they could think of doing it was to go ahead and take the content of this uh just grinding out different random world events and saying okay this is actually campaign even though the only difference in most of the cases with the exception of like helltide the helltide one was just go to the helltide and do the chests get some chests kill the i the maiden one time and uh 
I think there was one other, but I don't remember it off the top of my head. But they just had to do that. But that was the only exception to it, to where it didn't have to be in the Hantu. The rest of them, they were like, okay, we'll do do bounties or something. But it had to be in the Hantu, so you had to spend your time in the Hantu doing bounties. But it didn't come of any significant meaning to me. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of other people as well, but there wasn't really any meaning behind doing these tasks other than to just have the player go through the rounds and, you know, it, it just, it really felt filler. Like, there wasn't a reason or any rhyme as to why it needed to be there. It was just there. Um, now, this sort of was the point where I, I kind of was like, hopefully I was like, okay, is this, is the campaign over now? Is the campaign over now? Is the campaign over now? I kept asking myself, when is this going to be over? Because it just felt like it was dragging on and on and on because it was, there wasn't anything to it. There wasn't any, like, even, even after finishing it, I will say there was no cutscenes. Like you finished, you finished all these ridiculous tasks for them and it gets to the final moment and you get to this thing and you're like okay maybe they'll have some epic cutscene that will kind of fill it in no you don't get that cutscene because they already showed you the cutscene after the end of the campaign when the the campaign truly came to an end they gave you the cutscene of what you need to know but they refused to give you the cutscene of what these tasks actually meant for you, the player. It really, it really did feel like it was just there for no actual reason other than to just extend the amount. And the, the, from a business standpoint, I would say it's to make it look like there's a lot more perspective to someone who wants to buy this game. Be like, okay, well, we can sell it as a 10 hour campaign because um, it did take me eight hours to actually do the campaign which i will say if i take out the two hours of doing filler content the eight hours i spent on the campaign actually was very enjoyable it went through a lot of different things and everything kind of felt good um i loved all the puzzles and all the things that you had to solve and uh, the mysteries, the allure to it, the, you know, the just everything you do. Like I said, I don't want to spoil anything, but there was a lot of different aspects of it, and it did feel a lot of fun. But then you got to that last two hours, the last bit, it just became a absolute grog, and you were just hoping to get through it, uh, at least myself, uh, because you can't necessarily do everything in the season until you finish that campaign you're kind of waiting for that that bit just to end so that you can actually get to the good stuff that you want to enjoy um had they removed that and did not include that in the actual campaign i think it would have been a very good campaign overall i think it would have been amazing and it it does give that sense of a oh yeah i accomplished this i i did this i made it through this whole trek the characters were relatable the the way the scenes and scenarios were all kind of like you know you you felt you felt for the character that was in the in the game but but the last bit it just became literally like you can see on the screen you're just doing bounties you're just quite literally doing this and this was this was considered campaign quite literally me just turning in this bounty and you know <laughs> sitting there getting all these five item drops um which is a different story entirely but getting all that stuff you're doing that and that's considered campaign that's been in the game i mean that's this is nothing new this is nothing revolutionary i get it for the base game it kind of makes sense because in the base game and you're going and you're transitioning into your first time 
for the very first time you're transitioning into playing the end game. So yeah, you want to introduce the player into the new systems, but that wasn't it. You were introducing players into the old systems. So if you come from a perspective of, oh, I've done this before, and you say, hey, this is content, this is new content for you, you're sitting there like you're recycling the old content and then you're selling it to me as new content. Why why is it having to be portrayed as new content when it's already been in the game for since really on an all honesty release? Anyhow, I just thought I'd give my uh, little bit of a rant here. It's a fairly short video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, consider subscribing. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.